We've got a colony of beagles here at Noidam that we use to train our students in dog handling and in doing things like bandaging and listening to their hearts and so on for practicals, non-invasive practicals. We don't do experiments on them at all. And as part of the University of Namibia's commitment to community involvement and to, com to um, help the community, we decided that we want to use these dogs a bit further within the community to provide a service. Um, beagle dogs are very, very well suited to being trained as sniffers because they, I think they are third on the list of the top dogs with the best noses. Um, and we've decided because we're a veterinary school, we would like to try and do medical detection. Elsewhere in the world, dogs are trained to sniff patients with malaria, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, a number of different conditions that the dogs can diagnose just by sniffing a pheromone that the patient produces. And um, elsewhere in the world, because of the COVID outbreak, there have been very successful programs training dogs to sniff patients that are positive for COVID. They are not actually sniffing the virus, they are sniffing a chemical that the patient with the virus produces. And um, results from Finland and France and the UAE, as well as the United Kingdom, have shown that dogs are more accurate than the sophisticated laboratory tests that we use today. They never make a mistake with a negative result, and they have uh, almost 99% accuracy of a positive result. So what they are doing in these countries is that they're using dogs to pre-screen people if the dog says it's negative, the person can go home and it's trusted that they do not carry the virus. If the dog says it's positive, then those are referred for another test. So it cuts the testing, the cost of testing a lot. And what we thought in this country is it could also be used to help the tourism industry, which has suffered a lot during the lockdown, um, that when tourists arrive on the plane, the dogs can just reassure us that they are not carrying the virus. If the dog indicates that they might be, then they can be referred for a test. In his infancy, there was testers, uh, tested done in Europe. I mean, there's some of the dogs that have an 80% success rate. So now let's work, let's work the uh, money into it. It costs now for a COVID test 850 or 1,000 bucks. I'm not 100% sure. All right. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? Two days? Two days, some say seven. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now we've got a plane with a hundred people coming. All of them need to be tested. Am I correct? All right. So a hundred tests need to be done. How long will it take the labs to work through a hundred? Or we can put in a dog, and the dog can at least mm. give us eighty percent surety. How much time? How much money we will uh, how, uh, we will save? save. Mm. For one police officer and a well-trained dog to search a building will take 10 to 15 minutes. Say, this, these two buildings will take 10 to 15 minutes, a well-trained dog. For normal humans to search these two buildings will take up to six hours.